The Vietnam War was a brutal conflict lasting for almost two decades. This war left a permanent mark on the world, claiming countless lives and shattering communities. Amidst the chaos and carnage, soldiers faced a relentless enemy that went beyond conventional warfare. Among the numerous risks present in the Vietnam War, booby traps emerged as one of the most dangerous and threatening elements. Booby traps were among the most feared weapons of the Vietnam War. It was a battlefield of deception, where the enemy's tactics took a whole new level of cruelty. The booby traps were cleverly concealed and skillfully crafted with the purpose of inflicting maximum casualties, demoralizing and terrorizing U.S. troops. Between 1965 and 1970, booby traps caused approximately 11% of army fatalities and 17% of injuries. One of the most notorious booby traps during the war was the punji sticks, also known as the punji stick trap. Punji sticks were commonly used in various traps strategically set up to exploit scenarios frequently encountered by troops during patrols. These sticks were made of sharpened bamboo or spiked with barbs. They would be incorporated into different setups, such as being attached to wooden boxes buried near footpaths, cleverly hidden with dirt camouflage, or inserted into fields and concealed with grass. In the midst of a gunfight with the Viet Cong, an unsuspecting soldier seeking cover might hastily dive into the grass and unknowingly impale themselves on the concealed trap. The Viet Cong would often place punji sticks beneath bridges disguised under false planks. When an unsuspecting soldier would step on him, the false planks would collapse and the soldier would fall into a pit of spikes. Next, we have the bamboo whip traps. To understand the significance of the bamboo whip trap, we must first grasp the unforgiving environment they thrived in. The dense jungles of Vietnam provided the perfect cover for these sly traps, with their towering bamboo shoots camouflaging the danger that lay within. The bamboo whip traps were designed to inflict injury through a swift and silent mechanism. Soldiers moving through dense undergrowth would unknowingly trigger a bamboo shaft rigged to strike with considerable force. The intricate setup of these traps often involved tension bamboo or hidden spikes that unleashed devastation upon unsuspecting victims. Next up, we have the toe popper. Crafted from easily accessible components, this booby trap was widespread in usage. It required a bamboo tube, a single nail, a small piece of wood, and any type of small arms ammunition. The setup began by firmly placing the bamboo tube in an upright position on a sturdy wooden base, securing it with a precisely driven nail. Next, the ammunition cartridge was carefully wedged into the bamboo tube, ensuring that the primer of the round made contact with the nail's tip. Concealed beneath the soil along footpaths, this subtle contraption was positioned with the round facing upwards, poised to inflict maximum damage to an unsuspecting victim's foot. The pressure applied by a soldier would set it off, shattering the foot of the victim. Apart from constructing booby traps with the intention of injuring individuals or groups of soldiers, the Viet Cong also prioritized sabotaging aircraft that played an important role in delivering supplies and reinforcements to the war effort. The presence of helicopters in the Vietnam War posed a serious challenge for the Viet Cong. Helicopters served as a valuable asset for the American forces, enabling them to deliver supplies and deploy troops swiftly into combat zones. Recognizing the significance of these aerial platforms, the Viet Cong felt compelled to find ways to defend themselves against the helicopters. They attempted to harm the helicopters by firing at them from the ground or placing sharp spikes in potential landing areas. However, these efforts proved ineffective in countering the helicopter's strategic advantage. So the Viet Cong turned to explosives. They devised a method using grenades attached to poles rigged with a tripwire. When the tripwire was pulled, the attached grenades would detonate. This cunning setup was specifically designed to target helicopters attempting to land, causing destruction or severe damage to the aircraft. To counter the threat of explosive traps on the ground, American forces employed a creative solution to safeguard their helicopters. They resorted to dropping bombs in the desired landing zones. This strategic bombing created cleared and debris-free craters in the terrain, providing a secure area for safe helicopter landings. Despite the Viet Cong's attempts, their efforts to impede the use of helicopters proved largely futile. Next, we have the Bouncing Betty. This particular booby trap stands out as one of the most feared and despised. Its activation relied on the release of pressure on the army mechanism. When a soldier stepped on it, the distinct sound of the mechanism would alert them, compelling them to freeze in place, detonating at chest level and inflicting fatal damage. Now picture this, two cans slyly perched on trees, guarding either side of a well-trodden path. The grenade's safety pens yanked out, explosives strategically tucked into the cans, keeping those striker levers tightly in check. Then, a tripwire skillfully entwined with each grenade, and behold the creation known as the grenade in a can. The moment that wire got tripped, those grenades were snatched out of their cozy cans, unleashing a sudden and explosive finale. Oh, and if you're feeling adventurous, one can and a sturdy steak would do the trick just as well. Among the many booby traps of the Vietnam War, the swinging mace held the reputation of being the deadliest. This cruel contraption relied on a tripwire to unleash its merciless havoc. As soon as the wire was triggered, a massive ball weighing 40 pounds or more adorned with menacing spikes would ruthlessly swing down from an overhead tree. 
Anyone unfortunate enough to be caught in its destructive path would definitely meet a grim and fatal fate. So, dense jungles, hidden enemies, and a constant sense of danger, the Viet Cong and the North Vietnamese Army had to come up with some seriously sneaky tricks to level the playing field against the powerful US forces. And one of their go-to moves was setting up these lethal grenade traps. The Vietnamese jungle posed a formidable challenge on its own, but the addition of the muddy terrain made each step increasingly hard, which the enemy exploited to their benefit. This is where the mudball mines come into the picture, another wicked creation of the Viet Cong. These mines were essentially booby traps made from mud and other natural materials found in the environment. The Viet Cong would carefully mold them into seemingly harmless objects like rocks, branches, or even animal droppings. Unaware soldiers desperately searching for stable footing or a brief escape from the mire would unintentionally encounter and activate these disguised mines, resulting in a blast. Lastly, we have flag explosives. The Viet Cong had a strategic understanding that US troops had a tendency to capture enemy flags. Thus, when they were compelled to vacate a base or area, they frequently booby-trapped the flags with explosives. As a result, when American forces initiated the act of taking down the flag, it would trigger the explosive charge. It's like a twisted trophy trick, where the Viet Congs would gleefully rig anything the American troops saw as a badass war souvenir with a nasty explosive. These booby traps, ranging from punji sticks and bamboo whip traps to explosive grenades, posed significant threats to the safety and lives of soldiers during the Vietnam War. They exemplified the enemy's relentless tactics and their determination to level the playing field. The war may have ended, but the memory of these deadly traps remains a haunting reminder of the dangers faced by those who serve. If you liked this video, let us know what you think in the comment section below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.